Hey everyone, welcome to The Extra Scoop. I'm Melissa Morcus. And I'm Jacob Kaldenberg. Coming up in the show, Emily will be bringing you information on the racquetball and murals and the winners from last week. Sharice and Stacy talk to you about what ticks them off. And Molly will update you on celebrity news and gossip. Also bring you a story on what makes this month so important to some. You're watching The Extra Scoop. So get excited! All right, so it's about our third show of this semester, and I think it's going pretty well so far. You know, I definitely agree. I really didn't watch much of the first season of The Extra Scoop, oh. but I hear that this show is getting better with every show. That's definitely right. And if any of you viewers have any comments about our show, or even suggestions of what you'd like to see, please, please, please send them to knwt at nwmissouri.edu. So moving on, Emily's got some news around campus on a fun story about the recent racquetball intramurals. Here is Emily with In The Loop. Hey guys, I'm Emily and this is In The Loop. So listen up. Here are a few things going on around campus coming up. The Cold and Pond Punch. This is sponsored by Up Till Dawn and is going on until February 20th from 11 to 2 in the Student Union. Make a donation to see which St. Jude supporters will jump into Colden Pond. The top four people to raise the most money will jump into the freezing cold water on Friday, February 27th at 2 p.m. So, are you good at recycling? Well, if you answered yes, listen up. Save your Nestle Pure Life water labels. Students at Area Cooperative for Educational Support are collecting Nestle Pure Life water bottles in hopes to cash in for a new athletic and outdoor equipment. If you have any labels to give away, you can bring them to the Student Rec Center, the Talent Development Center, and or the resident halls at any time until February 24th. So, you may be hearing a lot about intramural sports around campus lately. Last week was the intramural racquetball tournament. Here is Katie Grimm with more. Intramural sports are big among students at Northwest. This week, for example, there was a racquetball tournament for both men and women who participate. We asked some of the players about the rules of the game. Well, usually you play to like 15 points, and you have to win by one. And you have to, in order to get a point, you have to serve. So tonight we're just playing one-on-one, -on -one, but you can play three at a time, or you can play four at a time with teams of two. We next asked the players how many people were involved in this tournament. There was around six uh, female participants enrolled. Only one of them showed up, so she was automatic champion. There was around 10 uh, individual male participants and around 30 fraternity participants. Athletics appear to be a big part in students' lives on campus. We went on to ask what the benefits are of playing intramural sports. Uh, it gives students an opportunity to participate in some sports. It's good exercise and it's a fun activity. Racquetball is a fun sport. If you haven't played it, come out and try it. Uh, once you learn the rules, it's a pretty entertaining sport and it's great exercise. We asked an employee of the rec center how racquetball ranked in popularity among students who participated in intramurals. Racquetball is probably one of the most popular things. Basketball is probably number one because it's so convenient to come in here and play basketball. Racquetball is probably number two. People call and reserve the courts all the time. I mean, it's kind of hectic, especially in the uh, afternoon hours to get into the racquetball courts. It's pretty popular amongst students and community members. So. Aside from the fun of playing racquetball, the winner of the tournament receives a well-known prize. The winners will win an intramural championship t-shirt. Now that you know how exciting racquetball is, for anyone interested in joining an intramural team, there is plenty of information to be found at the front desk of the rec center. So get out there and play. The Gentleman's Ball is sponsored by Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. It's on February 19th at 6.30 in the Student Union Ballroom. The Gentleman's Ball is a tribute to young men of Northwest Missouri State University. The men will be honored for their leadership and positive involvement on campus. 
The night will encompass performances of dance, song, and poetry. The awards will represent the ambition and achievements. The Crimson and Cream Scholarship Pageant, sponsored by Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, will be held on February 20th at 7.15 in Charles Johnson Theater. The pageant features five contestants. The theme this year is the evolution of man. An after-party celebration will be held in the station. The event is $7 in advance and $9 at the door. That's all for me this week. See you later. Thanks, Emily. Now let's take a look at your weekly campus calendar. On Monday, there is a more meeting in the Tower View Room at 4 p.m. And FCA will be meeting in the Wesley Center at 7 p.m. On Tuesday, intramural rock sock robot entries will close at noon. On Wednesday, this is a mock interview day. This is a great opportunity to take advantage of. For more information on that, check out the university website. Also on Wednesday, PRSSA will be meeting in Wells Hall, room 141 at 5 p.m. And women's and men's basketball versus Truman will be at 5.30 and 7.30 p.m. And on Thursday, AYCE Food Court Buffet will be from 5 to 7. Workout with Sista will be at 6 p.m. And SAC Late Night Bingo will be at 10 p.m. in the Union Ballroom. And finally on Friday, Theater Presents, Stillbirth, and Under Control in the PAC Black Box Theater at 7.30 p.m. That's your weekly campus calendar. You're watching The Extra Scoop. We'll be right back. 